Welcome to Jungus Games, where today we'll be playing a full two-player game of Votes for Women with my friend Matt, who's going to join us here in the studio. We're going to start things off with a brief overview of the game, then we will play the entire game, teaching it as we go, and we'll finish off with a discussion talking about how the game went. Now, I do want to mention that this is not a sponsored video, uh, so if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more of it, then please consider directly supporting the channel by going to patreon.com slash Games. Once there, you can gain access to a wide variety of exclusive perks, including watching my opinions episodes, where a couple times a month I talk about all the games that I'm playing recently, both the things I like and don't like, as well as how my opinion is changing as I continue to play those. Also, you can gain access to some videos early and advertisement-free, and this is one of those videos that went out early, and you'll gain access to an exclusive podcast feed where you can hear audio versions of all of the vlogs that I make, including those opinions episodes. Now, coming back to this game, I do want to ask that if while you're watching this, you see a moment where we maybe cheat on accident, or maybe you see a turn where we should have done something differently, then please comment about that down below because we'd love to see that kind of feedback. All right, let's jump into the game. Hey, Matt, welcome back. Hey, John, nice to see you again. Yeah, today we are playing Votes for Women. So this is a two-player only game, asymmetric. And uh, before we talk about mechanics, Matt, do you mind giving us a, a thematic overview for what's going on? Uh, full disclosure, this is Matt's game. Yeah. He's, he's played it solo a couple times. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I've recently been getting into, like, historical games that aren't really set too much in like war times yeah. so um i saw this early last month and i it just kind of caught my interest and so i i bought it and i played solo a few times and it's been really cool so this game is about the women's suffrage movement in the united states uh stemming from a little bit before the civil war and going to uh shortly after the uh first world war yeah so um in this game John will be playing the role of the suffragists, uh, and he will be attempting to uh, pass a constitutional amendment to the United States to allow women to vote. And I'll be playing uh, the opposition, which is all the various forces that want to maintain the status quo and uh, resist their efforts. Yeah. So over the course of the game, John's going to be doing the things. John's victory conditions are the requirements for passing a constitutional amendment in the United States at this time. Yeah. So the first thing John's going to have to do is uh, he and the suffragists are going to need to lobby Congress enough such that the bill can get uh, submitted to the states for their approval. Once John has uh, lobbied Congress enough, it will then go to the states where they will then either vote yes or no on the bill. Yeah. Uh, in order to... In order for this amendment to pass, there needs to be an overwhelming majority. AKA all 36 of these green check marks need to be on the board. And not 13 of these X marks need to be put on the board. Yeah. So there are 48 states. So once you get over once you get over that one, you trigger the end of the game. You've triggered the end of the game. Yeah. And so that's what we'll be doing throughout this game. We'll be doing this by taking turns playing cards through our hands. Uh, and other types of activities such as um, resolving around events, campaigning, lobbying, uh, and collecting momentum for our efforts. Yeah. So I think that's a pretty decent overview. Yeah. Uh, I think one other thing to mention is the game will be a maximum of six turns. Yep. Yep. And at uh, that point, uh, I either lose or maybe we go into a big final vote to see if I lose or not. <laughs> yep. Uh, and something to note about this game is that it uses turns when a lot of games use rounds and use rounds when a lot of games use turns. So <laughs> there are six turns in the game over which we play six rounds. Yeah. So there'll be a maximum of 36 actions yeah. for each of them. I apologize in advance when I for sure get that wrong. Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, one other thing to very briefly mention, these stars do not come in the game. Uh, we pulled these out of a different game just to make it a little bit easier to see because these stars are on various states that match up with these cards over here. We'll explain these in more detail later on, but just know there's a one-to-one -one correlation between a card over here and a state out here just to make it a little bit easier to see. All right. Uh, so I get to go first, right? Yeah. So each turn has a couple different phases. We skipped the first phase, first two phases of the first turn. Uh -huh. um, and now we are being the main uh, mean potatoes of the game where John will play uh, one of his cards, and we'll start getting things on the board. Awesome. Yeah, so I drew uh, six of these randomly, uh, and then this one I always start with. And you'll notice these all say early. This deck is split between early on top, then middle in the middle, and then late at the bottom. Uh, so, yeah, on my turn, I have to play a card, and then I do something. Uh, I either do what the card says, or I do three other things that have nothing to do with what the card says. And uh, let's see. 
I think I'm going to go for the obvious first turn as the suffragists, and that is playing Seneca Falls Convention for its event. Uh, as I mentioned, you can also do non-event things with these cards, and I'm sure we'll see that soon, but we're going to do what it says. Uh, so this says I'm going to add one purple and one yellow campaigner into the Northeast region, then I will receive two badges, and I'll put two cubes into New York. Now, the first thing to point out here is that I do indeed have two different colors of these campaigners, and that right there says I can uh, do those two different colors. I could do two purple, two yellow, or one purple and one yellow. The reason for that is because there are multiple factions within the suffragists. They all have the same ultimate goal, but they don't necessarily work super well together, and that is uh, depicted with these two different colors. So I'm going to put a yellow and a purple one out. These will go into the northeast region, and we'll just put these on the uh, region uh, central circle spot uh, whenever we put these campaigners down. And then I'm going to put two cubes down, and they're going to go into New York. Now, you can never actually have two different colored cubes within a given state. So this is illegal. So technically, with this move, it has to be two yellow or two purple, and I need to make that decision right now. I like the color purple. We'll put two purple down. <laughs> uh, okay, also, I get two badges. Now, these are the badges for the suffragists, and they have different graphics on them, but they're all the same. These are all technically badges, so we will go with uh, votes for women, and it's a man's world unless women's vote, and I'll just put these in front of me, and these are usable in a variety of ways, and we'll talk about that soon. And then lastly, I discard this card. I have used it, and that finishes my turn. Cool. So it's my turn now, and I think... I think because you start off with your start card, I will also start off with my start card and play makes it for sense. an event. Um, so <laughs> the uh, patriarchy. Yes, yeah, I start with the <laughs> So I add one campaigner in the south region. Uh huh. I receive four buttons. So, and you only have six buttons total. And then I add one red cube uh, in each state in the northeast region, the Atlantic and Appalachian region, and south region and Midwest region. So. This is me just saying, you know, I, everything uh, as it ever was. Yeah, the the, the yeah. <laughs> um, so, New England, very patriarchal. Yep. Yeah. And now, uh, so I would add a cube to New York. However, uh, no, two, as John mentioned, no two cubes of different colors can be in the same space. So instead of adding, I simply remove a cube of John's. Yep. So one of the reasons I did this is because if you notice, New York has a star on it, and Stars represent the fact that there are these cards of key battleground states. And so the first person to have four cubes of uh, their faction in one of those states get these cards, which is a one-time bonus that they can use sometime throughout the game. Yeah. So um, You're making it harder for me to get that New York card. Yeah. Yep. You're just, you're just going to keep putting cubes down forever, aren't you? Yeah, it's going to be a moment. Uh, <laughs> let's see. It was Northeast, Atlantic, Appalachia, South region, and Midwest region. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is your arm getting sore? A little bit. <laughs> so, uh, all right, all so right. this card is done for right now. Yeah, you sure you had to play that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I thought, yes. I thought that was good, but geez. All right, it's my turn next, and I think I'm going to play National Women's Rights Convention. Now, this card says it's only playable if the Civil War is not in effect. Now, the Civil War is a card that could be played. Um, this is the first time I'm playing this, so I'm assuming that's in Matt's deck. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and yes. If it was played, it would be over here in this infinite spot. We'll explain these more later on, but since the Civil War card is not over here, I can play this. And I think I want to do this now in case Matt plays the Civil War card. So just so you know, John, the, it'll, it'll go in this spot, uh, the Civil War. So well, it, it, the, oh, civil, the Civil War will not last. Uh... <laughs> yes, yes. No, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to play it, and it says uh, I get to add one lobbying token into Congress immediately. So oh, as Matt mentioned in the overview, there needs to be six of these down here in order to force a vote. In fact, if we go six turns and I have not managed to put six of them over here, then I just immediately lose the game because the vote never even happened, which would be bad. So I've got one of them down here. There's other main ways to do this, but I like, I like this. And then finally, I get to add one cube of uh, my color choices into one state in each region. So let's grab a variety of cubes here, and we will start over here. Um, I live in California. Let's put one in California. Uh, over here, uh, let's go into Montana. Then from this point on, I think I'm just removing cubes for the most part. So uh, down here yeah. in the south, uh, I'm going to remove one from Texas because, again, that one is 
associated with a card. Mm-hmm. Um, in the Midwest, there are no cards associated. Uh, so, hmm. I'll just get rid of this one. Okay. Ohio. Yeah, there you go. Uh, then in Atlantic and Appalachia, let's get rid of Pennsylvania. Okay. And then here in the Northeast, I could remove one, like from here, or I could add one to New York and try to make it even easier for me to gain that card. Cards are good. Let's put one down. And that is my turn. Yep. So I think I'm going to play this card for its action. Um, because this lets me put two red cubes down in each of New York and New Jersey. Uh, so that's terrible. Yep. Just really trying to stymie John over there. Yeah. And this now puts me within striking distance of claiming the New Jersey card, which yeah, that's, is probably a good idea. That's really bad. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Well, you know what? Women are heading to the polls. <laughs> yep. <laughs> At some point, we're going to play cards not for their actions, but women are heading to the polls. This lets me add two cubes into each of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. Oh, nice. So two are gone from New Jersey. Yep. Let's add two yellow into Pennsylvania, and then Delaware is right here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Can you tell I live over here? <laughs> Where's Delaware? I'll remove one from Delaware, and then we'll put a purple one down there, and that's my turn. All right. So I think I'm going to, I'm really wanting to hammer on uh New York as much as possible. Yeah. So I have another card that lets me put some cubes in New York. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, one other way I could put cubes down, potentially put a lot of cubes down, is by campaigning uh, as an alternative action. Yeah. However, that would require me to move my person, which requires me spending buttons. Yeah. So that's one of the reasons I'm leaning on my card, uh, the events right now, because they currently work for me. Yep. So I'm going to add two to New York and then two in Connecticut. So that is my go. Yep, that's uh, certainly not great. And we're only going to do three more uh, actions. We're going to play all but one of these cards. Yes. What do we do with the last one? Uh, it, it's in your hand at the start of the next round. You keep it. You keep okay, it. Okay, you keep it. Great. Yep. All right. I think next Susan B. Anthony is going to get indicted. I'm going to receive one badge, and then I add one cube into one state in every single region. So I will, I think, start up here and just remove one from Connecticut. Mm-hmm. So that's, that is less of a problem. Then I'll add a yellow into Pennsylvania. Maybe let's add a purple into Ohio. Mm -hmm. And yeah, let's put a yellow into Texas. And then a yellow in Montana and a purple in California. Uh, Did you cover... I think you missed the app. Uh, no, I got Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania, yes. Yep, yep. yep. Just because where I grew, where I grew up, I went to Pennsylvania a lot, and I grew up in New York. So yep. in me, in I my, grew up here. Matt grew over here. Yeah. yeah. In my head, New York and Pennsylvania are like in the same region, but <laughs> that's not how that worked historically. You are up. I am up. Okay. So now it's time for me to leverage the political system. Uh, so I'm going to do some gerrymandering, which lets me remove all yellow cubes in up to two states oh my goodness so i'm gonna do that oh, and i'm gonna do that should have gone purple wow that was terrible yeah so this is one of the reasons to split up the colors yes which i have been doing yep just uh unfortunate that uh it worked out and for all i know you have a card that does the same thing for purple i yeah. mean i'm sure you have it i don't know if it's in your hand or not mm-hmm. well that was terrible didn't like that one bit yep that being said the union signal lets me receive a badge uh let's take a new kind and then i get to add one cube into one state in every single region (laughs) stop me if you've heard this before so purple is going over here Uh uh-huh yellow over there Uh uh-huh um maybe we'll try our luck in kansas this time yeah uh let's see actually you've already spent the get rid of yellow cubes Mm -hmm. card so I'll, i'll go with that over here well i'm gonna keep going there uh Over here, I should, oh my goodness, though, purple. I guess if I keep splitting purple up, maybe that would be good. But I'm starting to worry that I'm going too much towards purple right now. Yeah, let's risk it. (laughs) I'll I'll go over here into Delaware. Uh, Well, but there is no card in Delaware. Mm -hmm. There is no card in Delaware. Nah, let's go yellow. It worked so well last time. (laughs) And then up here, let's just... (laughs) Make it harder to get these cards. Yep. 
Okay, that is uh, the union signal, and that was my second to last action of the round. I have something very important to say to you, John. Uh Uh-oh. You're a lot harder than the op bot. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You've only played the solo so far. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, sometimes the op bot, you could kind of like swoop in and grab grab some states really early. And uh, yeah, here it's like, okay. Make it hard. John's making it hard. All right, so... I don't necessarily know what John has up his sleeve, so I'm nervous he's going to be able to swoop California or Texas easily. Yeah, um, or Ohio. Oh, I mean, I'm okay. As as of right now, you. <laughs> oh, have... that's right. There's no card associated with Ohio, yeah. so you don't care as much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good point. So I am torn. These essentially are more or less the same card, but one more in one region, one more in the other. So I think I'm going to take a campaigning action. All right. And I'm going to use this card to take the campaigning action. So the way the campaigning action works is for each of my campaigners, I get to roll one of these dies, which has the numbers one through four. And uh, when I roll it, that's the number of support cubes I can put down in the region where my campaigners are. So because I only have one, there's not really too much decision making. But if John were to do this, he could he has to assign one right. of them to each of his and this, the the one through four are evenly split up on that die, right? I I have not actually looked. So three ones, three threes. Yeah, it looks like there's three of each. Okay, number. so it's a D twelve, but it's effectively a D four. It's effectively it's a it's a D four that's more easy to roll. Yep, that makes sense. That makes sense. If you hold, yes. Uh, oh, that did not work. <laughs> Maybe there we go. Two. Oh, two. All right. Okay. So you could spend a badge to re-roll that, right? I could spend a badge to re-roll it. I don't think so, being that's going to let me do kind of what I want to do. Sure. Which is mostly take out two yellow in Texas. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Yeah. So the Texas card's really good. One of the advantages of campaigning versus other things is that it lets you like really focus on a particular state. Right. So that's your whole turn, right? That's my whole turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Union Victory. Uh, it's only playable if the Civil War is in effect. So you can't. Right. Well, I'm going to use it to campaign. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to use this card that happens to say that. And the reason I'm using this not for the event is because I can't. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if the Civil War will ever come into effect. It really depends. So I'm going to do exactly what Matt did. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm going to discard this card. And then I'm going to roll two D4s because I have two campaigners on the board. Yep. Matt has a maximum of two campaigners total. And I have a maximum of four. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm obviously hoping to get more of these out. So uh, I'm hoping for a couple of fours, and I got a couple of ones. <laughs> I have four badges, and I could spend a badge to re-roll all the dice. So I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> Two fours. Yeah, that's worth it. Yeah. Yep, uh, that was definitely worth a badge. So now what I do is I add essentially four yellow cubes and four purple cubes. Yes. Yeah. But just like you mentioned before, I can spend a badge to move one of these somewhere else, right? Yep. So, like, if you wanted a piece of advice from me, it would probably be to, like, if you sent your purple person over to the west, you could yeah, you can grab the California card. I think that's definitely happening. Um, the question for me is Texas. Mm. Um, I could just drop four cubes here. You could. And take it. And the Texas card looks really good. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I'm going to spend... <sighs> I'm definitely going to spend a badge in order to send yellow to Texas. Okay. And then I will spend one of the four dice putting four yellow cubes down. And now I get the card. Now you get the card. And that card is really good. It says I get to add six cubes, um, yellow or uh, purple. Or obviously if I was the opposition, I'd put six opposition cubes into the south region. No more than two per state. And then Oppobot, that is what would happen if we were playing uh, solo, but we're not. So six cubes is just really good. And again, this is going to go into my hand, and I can play this before I do a main action. And you can only play one of these per turn. So I can't play it right now. And if I get multiple, I can only do one per turn. But this I have no matter what. If Matt comes in and wipes all these out immediately, I still get to keep that card. So now the question is, do I just drop four down in the uh, Northeast? Unfortunately, there's one in New York. So if I did that... Um, I wouldn't be able to take it. I do have two badges. I think I want those cards. I'm going to spend a badge. And that lets me leave the Northeast. And yeah, we're going to head to the West. Uh, I will put four down because whew, that roll was really good. Yeah, you got you got your badges worth. I really did. I had to spend a badge for the re-roll, but that could not have gone better. Uh, so I'll put one here and then three in Utah. Yeah. And then I get the California card, which is good. 
I think I like the Texas one better, but I'm still happy to have this. That says I can draw two cards from my draw deck, discard one card, and then play the other one for its event immediately. So it's a free turn, which I'm not complaining about. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Whoo! All right, campaigning success for the suffragists. I think. Yeah. Uh, that that that's a that was a thing. <laughs> that was a thing. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna try campaigning again. Uh, <laughs> right now. Yeah. Um, because I'm gonna take because like my main goal was to make heart, Texas hard for you to take. Yeah. Which, um, had you rolled slightly poorer, would have yeah, not it happened. Yeah, it was a good good play. So I'm now going to play uh, my border states, and I'm going to add one. Opposition cube in Delaware, so that's just gone. Yep. Uh, Maryland, West Virginia, uh, Kentucky, and Missouri. Uh, yep. Unfortunately, not hitting any of those card states, but still, uh, just add in. Cubes on the board is good. I cubes mean, on the board. The way you put these down is you need to have four cubes in a state once this goes to vote. Yep. So having cubes is not a bad thing. No, it's not. <laughs> And now, so we're now done with this turn. Yep. So we advance the turn marker. Yep. Uh, the next part of each phase is we draw up to seven card, uh, seven um, like deck cards. Yes. So, and we keep the one that we did not play. That's one can. of the seven. Yes. And now we go on to the strategy phase. So. Oh right. So if you noticed. Um, there are these cards that are related to the states and there are these strategy cards, which we will bid buttons for in order to take. And they are powerful in their own right as well. Yeah. So let's just kind of talk about what we have here. Um, we have reconsideration. You can replace uh, essentially a, uh, once an X or a check is usually on the board, there's no way to change that. This allows you to change that. Yeah. Um, eye on the future, playable if it's turn five or six. Uh, look through your draw deck and select one card and play it for its event immediately, then reshuffle your draw deck. Yeah. Change of plans. Look at, to your opponent's hand. Your opponent must discard one card of your choice that does not add a campaigner. Uh, your opponent then draws one replacement from their draw deck. So, all right. um, so all very useful cards. And the way this works is the suffragists will bid a number of buttons, and then I have the option of either matching or exceeding. If I match, we both spend our buttons and nothing happens. Yep. If I choose to exceed, I pay one more than they bid, and I take a strategy card. If I choose not to, they uh, spend their buttons and take a strategy card. Yep, yep. So, um, and if you win, that's when you choose. That's when you choose. So I have one button, and so I could spend this, and you would have to spend two of your four to take a card. Yep. If I don't spend this, you could take a card for one. Yes, you may commit zero, yes. So okay. I, would, I would have to commit one in order to take a card. I will commit one. Okay. I, I figure you're going to do it, but I want to yeah. make it harder for you. Yeah, it's definitely worth me spending two buttons to take one of these cards. I figured, and it was incredibly worth it for you to spend one button. So yeah. I, I need to make sure that didn't happen. So I'm going to take Eye on the Future. Yeah, um, just have, which, get the perfect card at the right moment Yep. in in the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, it's essentially a time bomb for me. Yeah, this, <laughs> like, like uh, the other, like, this one's also pretty, like, I've... Uh, granted, I have, I've only played against the Opbot, so I've never seen this one. Yeah. Um, but like reconsideration is also only useful in like turns five or six. Yeah. So the new strategy card, what they will can bid on for next round. Oh, this is a great card. So uh, superior lobbying. Here we roll uh, four d eight, and for each six, seven, or eight rolled, add or remove one of these pillars from Congress. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. That yeah. is good. So uh, that is. And now we move on to the action phase again. Okay. It starts with me. And I have two of these cards. I can only play one of them before I do one of these if I want to. And I think I'm going to start by playing California. I think this is really good. Uh, draw two cards from your draw deck, discard one, and play the other one for the event immediately. Maybe I should be waiting until we get to the middle or late stages, but I'm going to do this now. So I draw these two cards. And what I'm really looking for is cards that let me put more campaigners on the <laughs> board. Um, doesn't look like I hit any of those. But this one's pretty great. This one's good as well, but we're going to go with Francis Willard. So we are discarding Sojourner Truth. And Francis Willard says I get to add one uh, lobbying token and get two badges. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that was a good card. And I have two badges total. I was a little worried. I had zero badges. And uh, yeah, all right. Uh, ooh, that that wasn't my turn. That wasn't your that turn. That was just the first card of my turn. Okay. Yeah, state cards are great. They are. Now, you may be wondering, 
how we put more of these down. And the way that works is I could discard any card from my hand, and then I would roll d6s equal to the number of campaigners I have out on the board. And for every six I roll, I can either add a lobbying token or remove. Now, I'm always going to be adding. Uh, Matt is usually going to be removing. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, because remember, I need to get to six at any moment to have any chance of winning this game. So that is definitely something I'm keeping in mind. But that's, again, one of the reasons why I want to get more campaigners out here so I can roll more dice and be more likely to hit a six. Also, why I want more badges so that if I roll, I can get some rerolls going. All right, so for my actual main turn, I am going to play Lucy Stone. This says I get one badge. And stop me if you've heard this before. I add one cube into one state in every single region. <laughs> so I'm definitely putting one into Utah. Very nice. So that gets me the Utah card. And it works just like Texas, except for the West. So it's another way to dump a bunch of cubes onto the board. Next up, we have the Plains States. We'll go to Kansas. Then in the Midwest, I feel like I don't want to go too crazy on Ohio because there's no star there. And you could just play a card that says get rid of all cubes in one state. So I feel like that might be an overcommitment. Uh, So I think I'll just remove this one. That sounds like a good move. Yep. Uh, Moving up here, let's remove from New York. Down here, we'll add a yellow onto Pennsylvania. And then finally, in the south, we can remove one from Arkansas. Let's go with that. Okay. All right, John. Yep. We're having a civil war. Yeah, there it is. (laughs) Yep. So uh, I remove one of them for Congress because Ugh. there's a war on. Yeah. And now for the rest of the turn, you cannot add any uh, of your cubes into the Atlantic Appalachia regions. Uh huh. Nor in the South. Bummer. Yep. Bummer, bummer. But you can. I can. But I can't. Yep. Because there's a war going on. Yep. So patriarchy it... gets stronger. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that uh, that's that's my go. All right. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna keep digging. Um, let's see. Do I play Utah or Texas now, though? Can I play into the South? No, I can't. You cannot play in you. I mean, you could play it, but you would put I can't nothing. Add, I can't add cubes into the South. Yep. Okay. So Texas isn't happening for the rest of this entire turn. Utah is good, but I've grabbed all the cards over here, mm-hmm. so I might just slow down with that one. I'll hold on to these. Let's play a Vindication of the Rights of Women. That says I get to draw two cards from my deck, discard one, and play the other one. I am continuing my hunt for yes. more campaigners. Huh? Nope. Dang it. But Petition to Congress looks pretty good. Add one uh, lobbying token. Uh-huh. And then add one into one state of each region. All right. So you will add it to these four regions. That's true. That is true. Civil War. All right, let's spread out. Let's put a yellow in Arizona. Obviously, a yellow into Kansas. Actually, hmm. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, then just this one, right? Uh, can I go and, to the... And you can go to the north. Okay, okay. Yeah, both of these. Great. Uh, Atlantic, Appalachia, and south, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's put a purple into New York. And then in the Midwest, let's... Remove Illinois. Okay. I'm starting to wonder if those uh, ad campaigners are in the middle part of my deck. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they, they probably are. You, you get one in the middle and one in the end. Oh, okay. So well, there you go. Burning through your deck is a it's good thing. It's still a good thing, though. Yeah. It's still good, yeah. Okay, actually, let's, 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 um, this will actually guide my, depending how this roll goes, it'll, just, it'll guide how I play the rest of my turn. So, Senate rejects suffrage amendment. I roll a d6. On a 3 through 6, I receive one button, and I remove one of the pillars in Congress. Six. Sweet. So Dang it. That, and I get a button. Yeah. That's, the, getting the buttons use, is, is good information. <laughs> yeah. Damn. The bad coin flip. All right. All right, let's go with Pioneer Women. That says I get to roll a d8, and I add... That number of cubes into the Plains region, no more than one per state. Mm. Oh, nice. So, see how we do. Seven. I'm sticking with that. Yep. No need to re-roll that. All right. So, I'm definitely putting one here. Yep. That is going to get me Kansas, which is another way to just dump cubes onto the board. 
cubes are looking pretty good for me. I just really have can- uh, Congress problems yeah. right now. Uh, so that's one out of the seven. Uh, then let's put one up here. We'll do a purple. So I have five more. And let's just put them out. Yeah, there we go. All right, Pioneer Women. Done. Sweet. All right, so I think I'm going to take a campaign action. All right. So I'm going to take a campaign action. I'm going to roll my d4. Come on, high numbers. Four. Four, that works. Doesn't get higher than that. All right, so we are spending a button. (laughs) You're finally getting yourself a card? To go up to the northeast. Yeah. Um, And I will put three into New Jersey. Getting me the New Jersey card. Yep. Which definitely worth spending a button to have done because it gets me a button. Yep. Two buttons. And then I think I will... Get one more. I have one more. I think I'm just going to oust you out of New York. That makes sense. All right. Yep, that's my go. All right, Frederick Douglass. Uh, It's just like Pioneer Women, except for the Northeast. I roll a D8, add that number to the Northeast. So you got in right in time. Yeah. Maybe I should have done that first, but hey, it is what it is. See if I get as lucky this time. Five. Hmm. Five is enough to take New York. So I think you only had at most two per state. Oh, one per state. One per state. Actually, one per state. I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. I think this is fine. Uh, I don't think I want to spend a badge to roll that again. Uh, So I'm going to put them down. Let's see. Let's try. We'll put a purple in New York, so that's one. Then I I figure I may as well make you have to work for this uh, to get that uh, X, so that's two, and three, and then four, five. Sure. Okay. Okay. My turn. Hmm. So I'm going to use New Jersey immediately because there's no real reason not to, which just gets me two buttons. Yep. So I still have the lead on buttons, which is good. So I think I will play Southern Hospitality, and I just get to put a cube into Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Tennessee. That's pretty good. A lot of doubles down there. Yep. All right. Next up, I think I am going to campaign with uh, Reconstruction. Uh, the Civil War can't be on, and I could hold on to this, and the Civil War won't be on next round. But I also need the 15th Amendment in effect, and I don't know when that's going to happen. So I think this is a good time to discard this one to roll some D4s. I still have two campaigners. There they are. So two D4s. And one and two. That is a bad roll. I'll spend a badge. I'll spend a badge. Oh my goodness, this one's going so much worse. Yeah, I mean, you you did roll real Perfectly. well. Perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my comeuppance now. So I'm just worried about the bad situation right now. Um, I'm going to spend one more badge. Oh man. I'm going to do it. Oh, probably a mistake. 4-4. Four, oh, four. wow. I mean, I, I had to really pay for that one, but... All right, I only have one badge left, though, is the problem. And I was planning on spending a badge to come over here and take New York, which I think I still will do? Yeah, man, all right, I'm down to zero badges. Okay. This might be a mistake. I'm not sure, but we're heading back to New York. You'd want your other... Oh, shoot, you're right. Ah, uh, this is really bad, then. Hold on a second, maybe I don't do that, because I can't add anything to the South. And I only have one batch. Yeah. So I need to move this person. <laughs> oh, why did I put a purple there? <laughs> uh, this is, I was just kind of being arbitrary, but now I'm starting to see that, that, you know. <sighs> okay. Well, I could. Nope. Also the wrong color. Wow. All right. Well, it's okay. I think, I, I think I got to do this. Otherwise I don't get to put anything down because of the civil war. Okay. So I'm going to head somewhere with this person. Whew. This is a bummer. But I do need, you know, to ratify in the States as well. Uh, I'm only doing this because I can't place anything in the South. I figure I'll head to the Plains. Yeah, I'll head to the Plains. Yeah, I'll give you a strong position in the Plains. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, doesn't help me out with uh, Montana. Definitely regretting putting that cube there. But I already have a whole bunch of here with mm-hmm. yellow. So anyway, I get to put four down now. 
And considering we're nowhere near this happening, I'm going to spread out. Okay. Because for all I know, Matt might have a card that just, you know, removes all of them from one region kind of thing. Uh, we'll put this into Oklahoma. Yeah. Let's really spread out. And then over here, I can put four down. They have to be purple. And uh, same plan, I think. I mean, I, I have to ratify this in a lot of states. Yeah. So just spread out. Okay. That is my turn. Okay. Yeah. So I think I'm going to uh, play South Dakota Reject Suffrage. Okay. I roll a d6. On a 3 3 6, I remove one uh, pillar and I add some cubes in South Dakota. And Dang. I... You were hitting with those. So South Dakota no longer has your support. Wow. I'm feeling good about my cubes situation, but the Congress situation is really bad. Mm -hmm. uh, so part of me feels like I should start lobbying for Congress. Wait. Uh... Are you still going? How do you have only two cards left and I have three? Did you, did you forget to play a card after you badged? After you did your New Jersey? Maybe. I will have discarded this card. That's fine. <laughs> oh, you might have just forgot to discard I a may... card when you did the campaigning? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... I think that's exactly what happened. I th okay. All right. So yeah, sorry everyone. I think we uh, we caught a mistake where I forgot to discard a card after campaigning. We think we're good. We think we're good now. Okay. So yeah, it's my go, and Anna Dickinson is pretty good. Uh, less good because the Civil War is on. That's two less cubes that I can put down, but it does get me a badge, and I don't currently have any badges. I could also play this in order to try to lobby Congress. I just feel like I should be doing that when I have at least one more campaigner, which should hopefully be happening soon. Just starting to get a little bit worried about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going to play this, I think, for the action. So I get a badge. I have one badge. And then I add one cube into one state in every region, obviously, except for South and Appalachia and Atlantic. So we'll put one in purple into New York. We'll put a purple into Montana. Let's add a yellow into the Midwest here in Illinois. And then over here. Yellow in Arizona? Yeah, I think yellow in Arizona. I've got a purple person here already. Uh, yeah. That was my last action of the round, or last of the turn. All right. So, John never played the 15th Amendment, which I'm a little bit bummed by. Um, never found it, I guess. Yeah, or you, yeah, you, you ditched it. Could have burned it, yeah. yeah. So, this is, uh, this would have given me a real great ability to use against him, but he did not. So, instead, I will use the 15th Divide Suffragists in a campaign? I think as a campaign action, yeah. Because I'm winning on buttons, so I should be able to get a you strategy really card. Are, yeah. And I have nothing to take out of Congress. So yep. even if this is a kind of a lame roll, I think it's still worth it to me. Two. That's yeah. fine. And yeah, I think I'm just going to reset your progress in New York. Poor New York. Poor, poor New York. All right. Yep. And that is the round. Yep. So now strategy. So first, yeah, draw, draw your cards. Oh, we draw first? Yeah. Cool. I'm into my middle cards. Uh, okay, so yeah, now we're in the strategy phase. So yeah. I have one badge, and you have four. four. Yeah, I'll spend it. Yep, I will, and I will definitely spend the two to make sure I get superior lobbying. That one lets you... Yeah, that one is terrifying. Yeah. yeah. It, so, I'm starting to think you might win the game on lobbying, but we'll see. Yep. We'll see. That one lets you just roll dice, and you're really good at removing them, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, John might have the might be winning hearts and minds, but I'm gaming the system against him. You really are. You really are. All right, and then the one that came out is essentially a uh, free move your campaigners and then take a campaign action. So that's pretty sweet. All right. Oh, and the Civil War's gone, right? And the Civil War is gone. Yes. All right, John, you lead us off. I do. Uh, and so that is now turn three. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Well. 15th Amendment. <laughs> uh -huh. It's it's happening. So this one says that... Uh, actually, could you read that? Yes, yeah, so playable if the Civil War is not in effect. Which it's not. Yep, so John now rolls a d6. On a roll of 3 through 6, he adds two pillars in Congress and eight cubes anywhere. Uh, oh my no, goodness. No more than two cubes per state. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, you probably want a badge. I don't have any badges. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hold on. Hold on a second. <laughs> That's a coin flip. I do not want to mess up. Yeah, you 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 are favored in that role, but you definitely want to have at least one badge to. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
All right, let's play carry Chapman Cat. This one's simple. I get two badges, and I add one into every state. Yep. So over here, let's put a purple down. Spread things out a little bit. I guess maybe I should do Arizona. Make you, uh, incentivize you to remove that, perhaps. Yep. Over here, put that down. Over here, we'll work on Illinois a little bit. In the south, uh, let's put a purple into Arkansas. Here, ooh, let's put a yellow into Pennsylvania. And then up here, <laughs> New York. <laughs> someday. Yeah. Someday, some way. Let's go purple. All right. All right. So I'm going to play Xenophobia. Oh, no. So I get to remove all purples from one state and all yellows from a different state. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. So let's see. That's going away. Yeah. And that's going away. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go. Wasn't the card I was planning on playing first, but you got real close. Yeah, I did. All right. Let us actually, you know what? I'm just going to play Kansas to start things off. Okay. Add six cubes into the planes. No more than oh, two per state. Yeah. I should have just played this last turn. I honestly just kind of forgot about it. Mm. I honestly kind of forgot about it. But, uh, so I guess I should hold on to this then. I don't think it actually makes sense to spend it right now. I need to not forget about it though. Let's go with the 15th Amendment. That is also a two per state type of thing. Oh, that's true. But if I do this and then that. All right, let's, we're doing it. Kansas. So I am going to put two yellow over here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's two of my six. Then let's do that and that. And uh, I think this was in Utah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then I'll do the last two here. That makes sense to me. Okay. That was a, a free action for the state card. And now we'll 15th Amendment. Okay. So I get to roll a d6. Yep. And I want not a one or a two. Yep. It's a five. All right. I'm good. So this is really good. I put two pillars down into Boop. Congress, Boop. which, you know, Matt could easily remove, but uh, it doesn't mean I can't do it. And then. It needs to get there somehow. Uh, I put eight cubes down anywhere, no more than two per state. Mm -hmm. So we will do two in Montana. So I finally get that card, which gets me some badges, which is nice. I have six more. So let's go with two yellow in Pennsylvania, two purple in New York. Yep. And then two more. Let's just remove these. Yep, that makes sense to me. So I think I need to play this before it pops out. I don't know when it will, but it's already getting into the middle cards. And so I forget when the 18th Amendment pops up, but... What does that say? Uh, beer brewers. Playable with the 18th Amendment is not in effect. For the remainder of the turn, I roll a D6 instead of a D4 when taking the campaigning action. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so I have a feeling John's going to be able to snipe New York, but I'm... You, you put up a good fight. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will. I, I am going to take New York. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I'm going to play Inez Milholland. I get to add a lobbying token to okay. Congress. I get two badges. It's a really good card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I am up to four badges. And one cube into one state in every region. So we'll start here. Uh, we'll put a fourth cube into New York. It is finally one. The New York one is just another way to drop. I, I have so many ways to drop just tons of cubes onto the board. Um, which is good. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, got to get through Congress. Um, so that was that one over here. I guess I'll just keep pushing. I'll put that one onto Pennsylvania. That was for here. Then in the south, we'll go to Arkansas. In the Midwest, I figure we'll keep spreading out. I think we'll keep spreading out. Okay. We'll remove that one. Over here, spreading out continues to be, I think, a good idea. Let's, I could easily, easily put a yellow down there. So let's put a purple. And then over here, ah. I'll put a purple down. If I put a yellow here, you might just like yeah. play something to get rid of all of those. I might have already overcommitted. We'll go down to New Mexico. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to use Catherine Beecher as a campaigning action. So I'm going to roll my... D6s his, now, yeah? Yeah, my D6. I was hoping, to, hoping I might draw the card that got me my second campaigner, but that didn't happen. 
So four. I'm okay with that. All right. And I think I'm going to pay one badge to hop down to the Atlantic and Appalachia. I think I'm just going to dump four on Virginia. Yeah, you got it. You got it. That was a good card. Yeah. It lets you draw through the deck faster. Yeah. I think I probably would have preferred that to Pennsylvania, which I don't have yet. But yeah, yeah. nice, 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 nice. Okay. Yep. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I'd be getting more state cards, and you'd be getting all the uh, strategy cards. Yep. Although you're button rich this time. So. I am finally button rich. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see how that continues. Okay. So it's back to me, and I think let's just try to lock in that last state card. Actually, speaking of that, let's play Montana. That just gets me two badges right now. Yeah. There's there's really no reason not to do that. So I have six badges now. Badges, buttons. You know <laughs> what I mean. Uh, and now we're going to go with Emmeline Pankhurst. I get to roll two D6s and add that number of cubes anywhere. No more than two per state. Mm hmm. Sorry, hold on. I got you. Yep. And. Uh, you got a total of six, six there. I've got a bunch of badges. I think I've been re rolling too much. I'll stick with this. Yeah. I'll stick with this. I think this is fine. It could have been better, but it's fine. So we'll spend one in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So I will take it. That's the last of these cards. And I'll put that over here. So I've got five more I can put down. And I think at this point, I should just start doing damage to you. That sounds fair. Yeah, so let's go four, three, two, one, zero. Yeah, I put one down, I remove five. All right. I think, I think that is, well, that's what I did anyway. All right, that was my turn. The state cards are all claimed. All right, so I'm going to, I think... So because Virginia lets me draw from my deck, I think yep. it's a good idea for me to use progress, not politics. I get to draw six cards from my draw deck, Holy place cow. any number of the six on the top of my draw deck, and put the rest at the bottom of my draw deck. Oh my goodness, that is a really good card. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's see here. That's pretty good. That's okay. That's useful. That could be useful. Okay. Interesting. All right. So this kind of makes no sense, actually, but I will want a card to sacrifice so I don't destroy the cards I want. Um, so I think I'll add... Let's see, I think I'll add... But no, I still want that. Okay, so which of these do I want to use to sacrifice? I think I will use this to sacrifice for that. Uh, and then this will go at the bottom of my deck. Okay, so I think that's how that's going to go. So oddly, I did not discard as many as I thought I was going to. But I, <laughs> you only saw some good cards then. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's my go. All right. I think I have to start lobbying Congress. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm really terrified of this, but I'm going to need to overcome it. You're going to play it at some point. Yep. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, and I can't win unless I get this to six. So I think I'm going to play Alice, Paul, and Lucy Burns. They would have let me remove a bunch of cubes. Uh, but right now, I think my cube situation is okay. I just need to worry about Congress. So I'm going to play this card or discard it, essentially. And now I'm going to roll D6 is equal to the number of my campaigners. And I need sixes. I need sixes. So I'd love to get two, and I got none. Mm -hmm. So now I can re-roll. I've got a bunch of badges, so let's re-roll one. I missed. Let's do this again. Probably a big mistake here, but... I mean, you gotta get badges. You gotta oh, get... Man, that is six rolls and no hit so far. I'll do one more. I'll do one more roll. Jeez. Ooh. All right, well, that's my turn. I'm gonna stop. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, yeah, that was that was rough. Um, okay, so I'm now going to I set up so I set up last turn so I know Virginia would be useful. Yeah. So Virginia, I get to draw two cards from my deck. I discard one and the and I play the other one immediately. So, uh, so this was the one I intended to discard. So I'll just discard that. And Western saloons push suffrage veto. Play both the Eighteenth Amendment is not in effect. So I place two cubes in Arizona. So the Arizona goes, use those two. One in each of New Mexico. Oh, I had one in Nevada. Oh, I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even notice Nevada was empty. And Utah. Oh, geez, okay. So 
got to scare your yep. west a little bit. Right. Um, And then I have my actual turn. Right. I, I have my beer brewers going. So you're going to campaign? So I'm going to campaign. So I really want to... You'll roll 1d6. I'll roll 1d6. Come on. Six. Three. Three. I mean... And I'm going to keep my button. Okay. Because I want you to... Because I, I might want to try to scare you. Yeah. Uh, so I will have spent this card. And I will put... I put down three cubes. I think I'm going to just... I think I'll take two out of Pennsylvania. Yep. And then I'll throw two into Delaware. All right. That's my turn. That was four. One into <laughs> Delaware. And you discarded a card? Yes, you discarded did. a card. All right. I'm doing it again. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I think that is my best. I, I, need, I need to do this. So six i got a six all right good enough yeah i'd, I'd probably stop Jesus. there yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right okay if i spend my like i would like to campaign again yeah but i will need to move regions most likely uh-huh i also would just like another button because having two buttons means john has to work harder right i think it's probably worth me ditching this for the action we haven't actually seen anyone take yet just taking a badge. Just to take a badge. So I'm yeah. going to ditch this and grab a badge. Uh, kind of forgot that was an option. Yeah. So now, um, so now, like, when it comes to the strategy phase, John can't just... Buy it for two. Buy it, yeah. All like, right, so here we are. Here we are. So, yeah. We're so at the strategy phase. So, yeah, hold on. Let's advance the marker. I get rid of this card. Probably was a mistake to play that card, The my beer brewers, but it is what it is. Uh, draw your... Are there some ramifications later on? Uh, no, it's just, I didn't get as much out of it. Oh, you didn't get much out of it. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we draw up. Yep. Okay. All right, so now, John, you get to bid for strategy cards. I've got three tokens. So if you bid three, you are guaranteed to get it. Yeah. Here's the thing. I don't love any of these. Mm -hmm. They they seem fine. Uh, Look at your opponent's hand, discard a card. Okay, that's, that's fine. I don't think it's worth multiple badges though uh transportation move all of your uh campaigners to any regions without paying badges that's nice we have to pay badges to take transportation and reconsider it, it seems very good but at this point i don't even know if we're going to get to checks and s yeah <laughs> so i'm not going to bid any okay i think if you take any of these i mean i might regret it later on but I, I, i'm not going to bid any yeah i think i'm going to push my one advantage i have on you which i think i'm going to spend the one badge yeah i mean i think i would buy any of those, I would consider buying one of these for one badge. Yeah. But two badges, uh, or even three, not yep. worth it. The winning plan, draw six cards from your draw deck. See, this one I would probably yeah. go for. <laughs> play one card for its event immediately, place any number of the remaining five cards on the top of your draw deck, and the rest of the bottom. Yeah, I would have I would have paid for that one. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right, so it is now your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. All right. Well... I did not draw a place two tokens onto the, <laughs> onto the. I don't know if it exists. I think it. I think we saw one. Um, oh jeez! Actually, something just occurred to me. Huh. <laughs> oh, are you looking for a deal with the? De- are you looking for a deal with racism there, John? I am considering it as much as I hate to say that. Oh yeah, the Southern Strategy card is really good, but it's permanent. So it goes out onto the board, and there could be some ramifications yeah. uh, for doing that, a.k.a. letting Matt play some really scary cards later on if I use the Southern Strategy. However, it would give me two badges, two cubes in uh, every state in the South, and I get to just take a strategy card. I could just take the winning plan and then dig six cards into my deck. And I don't know, maybe there is a two-pillar card. Six cards is a lot. Oh, man. I I, oh, I I saved this one from the last round. It was the one card I didn't play. Uh-huh. So I was like, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to do it. Okay. Oh, I really, I hate it. I hate it. All right. All right. Take your two badges. Oh, taking my two badges. I've got a bunch of badges. Yay, me. Oh, so, <laughs> this game, man. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> all right. So, so I'm, I'm just going to take my two reds out of yep, these. Two, two. And then 
we'll just oh Ooh. geez sorry yes we'll just swap that one swap this one yeah swap that one and then let's just keep on i'm just kind of every othering here so we'll swap that swap that then purple and yellow can there be four five in a region uh so it's it's add so you would add two actually and yeah you can go above it it's just that like, oh okay it's just that like right once you have uh like four is the magic number and right having more above four is just it's harder to lose texas is the bastion of uh the suffragist movement yeah Te yeah all right so that happened and now i get to just take a strategy card and it's the winning plan the yeah one i was kind of salivating over so yeah draw six cards on the top of my deck play one immediately put the rest either on top or on the bottom of my deck this i mean okay well let's see if this was worth it you can't play it yet yeah, oh, the... oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry. This goes into my hand. I have to play that before. Yep. All right. Well, maybe. Well, it is what it is. It's a good card. Yeah, it's you... a very really good card. Counter strat. strat. Remove one card from the in effect for the remainder of the turn and place in the discard pile. Yeah. I like the winning the winning uh, plan a lot. But yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's your go. It is my go. So. John has got me scared. I was hoping to use superior lobbying next turn. Right. When you had more badges? When I had, because I have a couple cards here that will let me get some badges. Yeah. But I think... That was part of my hope, was to force you to do that when you had only one badge? Yeah. Because I... Because even if... Because I think John will at least then... Because I am a little bit more familiar with John's deck than he is. Um, <laughs> he will probably at least be able to add another campaigner to the board, which means... And he has so many badges that there's a chance he could he could push it, and yeah. I don't want that to happen. So wait, yeah. I don't have to spend this yet. Nope, you know, nope. nope. So I'm... John, if you'll hold this, so you are going to roll four d eight, and you need, need sixes, uh, is, sevens, or eights. Yes. So a little bit worse than fifty percent of chance, and for each success, I remove one from Congress, or add one, or add one. <laughs> I don't think I'm in a position to try to push that strategy. So I have two i have two you got two i think that's about as good as i'm gonna get yep at. yep 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 so i'm gonna take those two off uh, i think i'm okay with it as well oddly enough that yeah. that could have been worse uh, it, yeah it could have been a lot worse i would have loved for better but i think that would have just been me being greedy yep uh and that was not even your turn that wasn't even my turn that was a strategy card yeah yep so i think now i'm going to put in my uh Na Nawo's forms, the National Association opposed to women's suffrage. Uh, that one just rolls off the tongue. Yeah, it does. Uh, <laughs> so I get to put my second campaigner down in the Northeast region. Big boo. And I receive two buttons. Big so, boo. Yeah. Okay. Was, well, I'm glad I forced you to do that now. Yeah. Because uh, if you had three buttons, I think you might have re rolled that, that, yeah. that pair. And then, okay. Okay. My turn again. Yeah. Yep. The winning plan. <laughs> yep. It's happening. So uh, here we go. Six cards. All right. This is going to go to the bottom. It's good, but it's not good enough. This is going to go to the bottom. Good, but not good enough. I'm assuming the late cards are just going to be better than those. This is the card I'm going to be playing. These cards are good, but I can't help but wonder if it'd be better to just get into the late cards faster. Like, I I think these aren't good enough. I might regret this in the future, but I'm going to put these to the bottom. This one, I think I'll keep for that reason alone, uh, and I'll put it on top. So, yeah, that goes there, and we're playing Jeanette Rankin. Roll a d6 on a roll of three, four, f uh, five, or six, add a lobbying token to Condress. And four tokens in Montana, and two in each other state in the plains. Oh wow, it's a really good card. Yeah, so those go to the bottom of your deck. Yes, these are not gone; they're just going to the bottom of my deck. Yep. So I'll get to them potentially never. So I roll a d six. One. I got a one. That is a re-roll. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness! Game. All right, re-roll. Are you kidding me? Would you like a different D6? Uh, yes, I want a different D6. This one is not doing it for me. 
All right, that's good enough. Three, four, five, or six. I can't believe that. Hey, I, I got there. I got there. All right, so put a lobbying token back. Uh-huh. Whew. And then four cubes into Montana. Uh, I think I think Montana's locked in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> Unless you have a card that just removes them all. There's a chance I might have one of those. Yeah, <laughs> and then two into every other plane state. So that's, I mean, this is a good card. Here, I'll just add your purples while you're doing Thank that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I cannot let you win Congress. This lady is really influential in the in the planes. Holy cow. All right. That mm. was, uh, was that my turn? No. No, it wasn't. That was just the first part of my turn. I mean, there is a reason that was called, what was it? The winning plan. The winning plan. <laughs> the winning plan. I mean, I, I like you said, I, I made a deal with the devil to get that. All right. So now, whew, National American Women's Suffrage Association. We're putting purple on the board. Atlantic and Appalachia. I already had this one in my first draw. Uh -huh. Kind of hoping to find the other one. But you said that was in late. Yeah. Mostly I was just looking for pillars. Yeah. Uh, and to get into the lates quickly, because I yep. assume there's lots of pillars in there. Also, I get three badges, so it's a good thing I just... Well, all right. There it is. Okay. Uh, all right. John now has three, three on the board. Three campaigners, five badges. Hope and a prayer. Uh, okay, so let's just make sure John's not within striking distance of getting it passed. So Senator Con Ed Smith, I get to remove one of these. Yeah, of course. And I get do. to add two of these in South Carolina. All right. All right. All right. All right. I am going to, I don't think I can not play this for the effect. I'm going to play the club movement. I get four badges. Nice. I just, I think I need that. So that's a simple turn. I, I'm drowning in badges over here now, but I'm sure I'll find a way to use them. You were just down to two a moment ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Back over to you. Uh, I think it's still, I think I just need a lead on my, I'm on my strategy. So I'll, the other non-exciting, but important one, I remove another. Yeah, color, there they go. There they go. And then I add two to New Hampshire. Senator John Weeks. Worked so hard to put those down. Yep. I was within a stone's throw. All right, it's back to me, and I think it's time to lobby Congress. We're going to discard this card. I have so many buttons, and I'm going to roll three D6s. And I need sixes. You do. Hopefully one of these is the good D6. I got well, at least one. one. Is one worth it? This is one of my 36 turns. Mm -hmm. But am I ever going to get two? That feels incredibly greedy. Oh, man. I have all these badges. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with this. I'm just going to okay. put one down. All right. One down. Now I'm all worried. I've just rolled so many <laughs> times before. All right. So now uh, I'm going to make John reap some of what he's sown. Yeah. So I'm going to play the, the new Southern Citizen uh, or the SS the Southern States Women's Suffrage Conference. Playable if the Southern strategy is in effect. I yep. receive two badges. Yep. And I get to put six cubes down in the South, no more than two per state. That's a good, good, good card. Yeah, so I think I'm going to remove those two. Put two in Georgia. Uh, Texas? <laughs> you can have Texas. Um, and then I think I will remove... Uh, I think I'll just move those two. Okay. Back to me? Back to you. Well, you heard it before. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to play or discard Helen Keller in order to roll three dice. Lobbying Congress. Nothing. All right. That is a re-roll. That's, that's one. one. I will go with it. I just, I think I have all of these ways to dump cubes onto the board. I think I just need to slow and steady. This. Yep. I mean, I'd love to hit multiple, but we'll see. Yep. All right. I think it's, I think this card is, so now, yeah, I think this is worth me still playing. So this is an early card still. So oh. Southern Resentment, playable if the 15th Amendment is in effect. It is. I add one to Texas. Remove that. Yep. Louisiana, I remove that. Arkansas, remove that. Mississippi. And Alabama. All right. Back to me. Yep. We're going to discard Maria de Lopez, and we're going to Congress again. All right. We are going to Congress again. 
Uh, two, two sixes. sixes. Stopping. Stopping, yeah. stopping, stopping, stopping. All right. Well, damn. <laughs> uh, all right. John has. I'm a stone's throw away from forcing it to the floor of the Senate. Yeah. Uh, forcing it to states to ratify. So now I'm at the. I'm at a crossroads. Yeah. I can try to fight John di- like directly by lobbying against him. Yeah. But you only roll two dice. I only roll three. two dice. And I do have a pile of badges, but I'd like to make John scared. But I have this card, which lets me draw a stew from my deck, and I'm, I get to play one, which could remove something. It absolutely could. I think, I, like, I think trying to fight directly is a waste of resources for me. So I think it is worth me drawing this. And if I can drag it out, I'm probably going to do that. Yeah, I, it's very possible. It's two, choose one. Two, choose one. So, okay, this would have been great. Uh, actually, this, this would have been mediocre for John this turn. So that's not getting taken. Uh. All right, sure. Uh, we're discarding this. Uh, the great 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Oh, no. Remove all cubes in California. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All, all suffragist cubes in California. Yep. And you lose one of your buttons. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's it. We advance this. It's time for strategy. Uh, draw your cards. Oh, draw the cards. Right, right, right. Uh, I've just started drawing into my lates, but I think John's been drawing in his... I've got most of a hand of lates now. Nice. Yeah. You, nice. You've done some digging, but I've done a lot more. Yeah. I, and I chose not to dig deeper when I saw what I drew yeah. before. All right. John. How yeah. How much would you like to bid? So I have... Let's see here. Uh, seven. Six, six clinches it for you. Five forces no one to take anything. And I have seven. You have seven. Um, let's see here. This one removes, removes a card, uh, in effect card, which yep. we don't have any right now, but that can be nice. That civil war was a bummer. Yep. <laughs> uh, understatement. Yeah. <laughs> uh, jeez. Uh, and then change of plans. Uh, look at your hand, discard card, reconsideration. This could be important mm-hmm. now that I'm, I feel like I'm going to get to that stage of the game. Yeah. Cause it swings it over to your side even. Yeah. I think. It's probably worth bidding some ba- uh, buttons. I keep saying badges. They are buttons. So I could spend six to take it. Mm-hmm. You have how many total? I have uh, five. So five uh, So five to guarantee at least no one takes anything. Yep. Six to take whatever you want. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to spend six on reconsideration. Okay. Now that I think we can get to that part of the game, mm-hmm. this could potentially swing the entire game for me. That's true. This might be an overcommitment, but spoiler alert, I think I've got some badges in my hand. <laughs> They're going to be coming, so. All right. What's next? Uh, select one state and remove any. Ooh, remove all red and add four. Or remove, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So essentially wipe it out and then, and then take it. Yep. It has to be cubes still, so. It does, yes. Okay. Um. All right, it's your turn, John. It is my turn. I think I'm going to start by playing Pennsylvania. That says I can add six cubes into the Atlantic and Appalachia region, no more than two per state. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I am just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Sounds good to me. Just wiping all those out. And then for my turn, Women's Trade Union League. Uh, I get to put my yellow person down. Yep. They're going into the Atlantic and Appalachia, so it is popular. Yep. And I get one lobbying in Congress. Oh, hot damn. In addition to two badges. This is a nice. really good card. All right. So I'm back to three badges, and uh, it's happened. So now every state that has four more gains a thing. So yeah, now so now the game kind of changes a little bit, which yeah. I re- it's, it's kind of one of my favorite parts, because like, the game like now is just a different game. Slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I- so now everywhere there are more four or more uh, tokens of get replaced with uh, either check marks or X's, depending upon the... Do we wipe them out? Or yes, do we just... they are wiped out. So like all, like all eight of these are gone? Yep. So okay. Montana just no longer... Montana has approved it, so like yep. there's no more dealing with that. Yeah, the planes are going towards the suffragists in a big way. Holy cow. Here, I'll just put these down first. Yeah, that's usually... It's... That's a better way to do it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We got Texas. I'll just organize these cubes when it's your turn. Got New York... I think that's it. Okay. I think, you know, pretty this, good start. Pretty, pretty good start. Good, yeah. Let's... So the reason I did th- this is because I knew I was making this happen and I was worried that you might swing around and throw a bunch of X's. Yep. 
So I figured I would just make this harder for you to do that. You still might. Yep. Um, but that was uh so the plan. So I win if I put every single one of these on the board. Yep. That's my only condition, really. Yep. Alrighty. That is my turn. Okay. So just so the people at home can see the card that I was going to play. <laughs> um it still might get played. I only need to think about it for a second. Yeah. So okay, I think I have my eye on the future. So I think I'm gonna yeah, play this. You've card. had that for a while. So let me play this. So I get to look through my entire draw deck and play a card it immediately. Find the best card. Let's see. I'm showing you everyone that I'm doing. This is one that I'm considering. Yeah, so I think we're going to... Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the choice I made. Yeah. Um. So we're going to... Are you shuffling your entire deck now? Yes. Interesting. So, so those ones you buried below now are going to be somewhere. So I only buried one, so it's actually oh, not okay. that terrible. Sure. So I'm going... So for that, I'm going to have the red scare. Yeah. So I get to remove all blue cubes in up to two states. So oh, I'll... Uh, purple, yes. So I will remove it from Utah and South Dakota. That makes sense. Okay. All right, all right. So that was just my event. Right. And so now let's see what happens. So we're going to do Woman in the Republic. I draw two from my draw deck. I discard one and play the other one immediately. So let's see here. So I can do this again if I wanted to. Uh, or I can add red cubes anywhere no more than one per state. I am not in a great position to take advantage of this, unfortunately. So we're going to keep digging. I probably should have stuck with the other one, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, so I don't think I want them to draw anything more from their suffragist draw deck. So I'm going to do that. And so I can't remove it from Congress, but I get to add two of these in Utah. All right. That is my turn. That was a big old turn. Yep. All right. I think I am going to play Utah. Uh, as the, the bonus action first, I get to add six cubes into the western region. No more than two per state. I'm going to put two yellow in Arizona. And then let's go three, four, and then five, six. Okay. And then I'm going to play Victory Map. So this says, I'm going to do the event. It says add one cube in each state in the west and plains regions. Add, uh, then I'm going to add more. So let's. this is going to be a lot of cubes. So let's start with the west. Um, so we'll do one in Arizona, which turns into a check mark. Yep. And so I imagine you're adding... Yes. So doink, doink. Two more check marks. Okay. So you've... You, yeah, you keep... So yeah, you spent yep. three so far. Yep. And then that, that, and that. And then these go away. Uh-huh. So that is the west taken care of. Then the plains. Uh, this will turn into a check mark. Yep. And then I'll put one yellow into South Dakota. Okay. And then I put one into Texas, which I won't do because it's locked in. Arkansas uh, will get a purple. Uh-huh. No, oh, no yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. add one, yeah. Uh, Illinois gains uh, a yellow. That's Indiana, so yep. And then Michigan will get removed. New York is done. And finally, Vermont will gain a... Ooh, I solitary blue. Uh, yellow, I think. Oh uh, yeah, I think yellow. This person's gonna be leaving soon. Yep. The planes are pretty taken care of. We'll see. We'll see. That was a good card. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I still think it's time to do this, but unfortunately, it's just it was a little bit past this initiative. So uh, we're gonna play white supremacy and the suffrage movement. Yeah. So playable if the southern strategy is in effect. Yeah. So I remove all yellow cubes in up to four states, and uh -huh. you lose two buttons. Okay. Yeah. That that's that's painful. Yeah. For sure. I mean, could have been worse earlier. Yeah. If before I locked so many things in. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah, if you lock if if you didn't lock those things in, I was like right. I was pulling. I was gonna be pulling from states that had like six cubes on them. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And again, you couldn't have done that if unless I played the southern strategy. Yeah. Yep, that makes that makes a lot of sense. All right, back to me. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's play this one. A young woman citizen. Draw two cards. Uh, discard one. Play the other. Okay. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. We found the first of these cards that is only active if we get to the uh, final vote, essentially. Mm -hmm. And actually, I think now is a good time to talk about how that specifically works. Yeah. So the way this works is if neither John or I have not won by the end of the sixth round, we will go into the 
the amendment essentially go into like a general voting pool in which all states that have not either approved or reject or rejected the the uh, amendment will then vote on it. And yep. John and I will essentially take turns picking states. So each player will roll a d6, and if anyone, if either player has a cube of cubes in that region, they will add the number of cubes to their die roll. Yeah. Higher of the die uh, wins, and will put down either an X or a check mark as appropriate. Got it. Um, ties currently go to me. Uh huh. Uh-huh. But there's uh, a card I could play to swap swap it. Yes. Got it. Uh, we each ha- also have a card that will upgrade our D6 to a D8. That's what I just drew. Yep. Uh, it's cool. And so, and then we just keep doing that until you win or I win. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Well, we don't care about this anymore. This would have been great earlier, but we don't care about it at all. Uh, so we're going to go with the other one. Voter registration. The suffragist player rolls D8s instead of D6s during final voting. If we get there. I mean, yep. the game could end before that if I get all these down. But if we get there, which we very well might, I'm glad that exists. Yep. All right. That is my turn. All right. I'm going to play conservative opposition so for the remainder of this turn i roll d6s instead of d4s when campaigning that makes sense all right all right now i'm gonna play ida b wells barnett i really wish you hadn't removed those from illinois there were three there weren't there yep Ugh. all right i get two badges buttons i get two buttons uh and then i add two into illinois yep <laughs> um let's see uh we'll go purple uh then one into every other state in the midwest so I think we're just going to keep going purple because I might bring a purple campaigner there. There, there, and then... And one there. Oh, yep. And, and then, then I'll remove we... one from the rest. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, for my turn, I'm going to first use my event transportation. Yeah. So I can move my people around, but I don't think I'm going to actually. Uh, no, I'm actually going to move my person here. Okay. And... I can now take the campaign action. Okay. So it's a bonus campaign action. So I'm going to do that. Oh, I see. Excellent. Yeah. I was tempted to leave them in the Pacific and the Appalachia. Yeah. But I think I'm going to. You want to put, start putting some X's on the board? I'll start putting some X's on the board. So I have this. So two, two. So that's... four. Reroll. Okay. Yeah. About time you're getting some rerolls in. One, Ooh, three. That was the same. <laughs> All right. Come on. Oh, that's eight. better. That is a lot better. That's eight. I'll stay there. Okay. Um, so I have to put an eight, and I have to put eight up there. So that gets you some X's. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. And we'll go eight. All righty. Um, so again, Matt wins if he puts these down. And there's a lot less of these. Yep. There's a lot less of those. All right. And now I'm going to just take the campaign action. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. So let's do that again. Wow. So okay. I'll hold my... Yeah. I have regrets. Oh, nine. my goodness. Yeah, nine. but I'm going to stop there. So Absolute we're... regrets here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one in Vermont for nine. Okay. Well... That was a really good turn for you, and I am upset. It's my turn? Yes. I'm upset because I could have played New York mm. before this and locked maybe some of these in. I'm doing it now for sure before the Northeast is gone entirely. So I put six cubes down into the Northeast, no more than two per state. So you get to put... I only eight. get to put four down. You get to put a cube I only in get to put. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wow, what a waste. That was a total whiff on me. So, I mean, not a total whiff. This is gone, and I'm going to add a cube. But yeah, that was terrible. That was terrible. Let's put a yellow down. Holy cow. Okay. Now I'm going to do my main action. And let's play the Equality League of Self-Supporting Women. I'm going to get two badges. Mm-hmm. Then I add one into every region. So let's put a purple over here. We'll put a yellow there. Over here we'll do a purple. So Ohio is locked in. Yep. In the south, we'll put a purple into Florida. Or right, okay. Over here, well, I think we'll just remove this one. Okay. And then over here, we'll add a yellow. All right. And that is my turn. Sweet. Uh, okay, so I think it's worth me doing this. Backlash to the movement. I get to remove six cubes, six of your cubes from anywhere, uh-huh. no more than two per state. Okay. Yeah. So I think these two... 
these two Whew, and regrets these two yeah dang okay actually i will leave that was our illinois right yeah 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 i think i'll do those two vermont okay all right so last last uh play of this this uh turn yeah all right i think i am going to play texas I think I'm going to finally do it. Okay. I wish I'd done that last turn so I could have locked in Florida right before you remove those. Yep. I can put in six, no more than two per state. So I will finalize Arkansas. Two. That's two. Then I will put, let's see here, two yellow into Florida and then two yellow into Louisiana. Okay. Oh. Then for my turn, I'm going to campaign. Yep. Um, there is a two lobbying card. <laughs> Drew it too late, but that's fine. Good to know. It's interesting playing this game the first time, like not knowing anything about what's coming in the deck. Yeah. Having suspicions. Um, okay, so campaign, I roll four D6s. And I've got a decent number of badges. That is that's an okay. Oh, no, sorry, you roll four D four. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I yeah, yeah. roll D sixes because of my card. Sorry, sorry. I was like, dang, that's a lot of <laughs> that's a that's some real high roll for her. <laughs> Just kidding. I roll four D fours. <laughs> uh, I think I did better. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's. I'm gonna stick with this. Yeah, so it's... let's see. Four, four, two, three. Yep. All right. I'm gonna spend a badge to send this yellow to the south. Yep. And then I'll spend a four to finish these two. Yep. Then I'm gonna send the three over here to finish South Dakota. Yep. Then I'll send the four over to the west. Let's finish New Mexico. And then I have two more to put down. I'll split them up. Mm -hmm. And then finally, there's that two. And they can stay there. Now let's just put two purple down. Okay. Uh, I think, hmm, actually, maybe I don't put purple down. I could remove instead. Huh. Or. No, nah. let's and... lock some things in. I'm going to yeah. spend a badge. Yeah, I'm going to head over here. Okay. Uh, and then I can spend the last, th those two here to lock in Illinois. Yep, that makes sense to me. Yep, yep, yep. All right. All right, so for my last action, I'm going to go campaigning because I still have my... Yeah, super... you're rolling D6s. Rolling D6s, so... It's Eight. pretty good. Yeah, it's probably not worth re-rolling. So that was a three and a five? Yes. Three and a five. That's mildly unfortunate. Okay, so I'm definitely spending one badge yeah. to move yeah, this person yeah. here. And we're going to spend the five, the five yeah. to lock in these two. And then I'll throw one right there. Oh, uh, my goodness. You have five, five X's left. I have five X's left. That is terrifying. Yep. I'm now debating if I spend a badge. I think it's probably worth, yeah, I think it's worth me spending the badge to move this another guy, X. guy here yeah. Yeah, and spending the three to yep. get another X. And we'll just put it on Delaware since it's kind of floating out over there. Okay, four bad, that, that, wow. Like, I'm feeling good, and then I look over here, and wow. Yep, it's easier to do nothing than just do something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the, the card place. We can draw up. Yep. I've got three badges. You have one. Yeah, that that was something I was also contemplating. It's just like I I think it's worth me getting this, getting that out. Okay. So now it's strategy, right? Yep. I have three badges. You have one, so I could spend two badges to lock in something. Mm -hmm. So I could remove something that's in play. Oh, this is gone. That is gone. Anyway, change of plans. Look at your opponent's hand. Discard one. So this is the final round of the game. So this could be. Good yep. to say, you know, what's the best card and remove it. This one, select one state, remove any cubes and put four on there. Oof, that is also good. Yep. So it's... I'm going to spend two. Uh, you can't do anything to about lock, it. To lock it in. I'm going to take Bellwether State. All right. I think every state is going to matter. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> every state. All right. So I'm starting things off. I'm going to play Bellwether State immediately. Yep. Um, I am going to play it. I'll... Bama is the yeah, one with the this most... is the biggest hit for you. Yep, you are here already, so yeah, I'll do Alabama. So yeah. I move all of these. I put four down. I immediately get a check mark. Yeah. It's also hard for me to like now, like this person 
is not great at campaigning. Right, right. I mean, same here, but yeah. Right. You only have two. But that was only my, my bonus action. That was, yes. You have... Uh, now, for this final turn of the games, it's going to be a Prison Tour special. I roll D6s. All right. On those campaigning actions. Yep. I actually saved this from last hand, mm -hmm. last round. Um, I had too many other things I needed to do. Yeah. And I figured for the final round of the game, this is probably... Oh, speaking of which. Yep. Uh, I thought that made sense. All right. That's me done. All right. So, yeah. Uh, John, there's a war in Europe. <laughs> so now, in order for you to campaign, you have to spend a button. No! All right. That isn't great. No, it's Ooh, not. That is not great. Ooh. Now I want this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow. I, spoiler alert, my hand is not overflowing with badges right now. Man, maybe that Bellwether State was not... I mean, you just can't know. You just can't know. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a badge, but then I can't move. I can't move. This person is, is currently pointless. I need a badge. Oh, goodness. I could also just play these for what they say. Yeah. Um, I was really hoping to come in hard with the campaigning, but that... <laughs> World War One is definitely... Yeah. You might, you might need to be trying to... Make sure I don't claim victory and that you're set up to win. Right, because I have this here. Yes, so just, is this visible for people? Yeah, people can see this, so yeah. I'll make it a little bit more clear. Yeah, I only have to put down four more X's to deny John yeah. the victory. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. All right, um, I'm going to save this badge for now, and then I'm going to play Dr. Mabel Pinghua Lee. I get to roll two D8s and add that number anywhere, no more than two per state. That could be real good for you. It could be really good for me. I have only one badge. Oh my gosh. Five? What an awful roll. But this badge is an entire campaigning action. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I mean, I, maybe I just go with this? This is really rough. Yeah, because a campaigning action puts down, you know, on average, eight for you. Yeah. I'm going to stick with it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that war in Europe really changed everything for me. Uh, okay, so I'm putting five down. No more than two. I mean, I figure I should probably do this and this. I mean, I'm, I'm just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Over here, I could lock two in. So remember, you're probably not going to be able to move people. Yeah, I know. That is true. That is true. Because I could also just remove one, two, three, four, five. Yes, you could also I could do... just remove all of your pieces. That... It, that would that would definitely. I think I'm gonna do that. You're right, cause you're right. I think right now I almost need to play for the end game. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I'm getting all these down before we yeah, get to the end game. Yeah, because I think the war in Europe really stifled your campaign. Completely. Plan. Uh, so that is my turn. All right. I don't know if the 18th Amendment's gonna pop up or not. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a late card or a middle card. So I don't know. <laughs> Let's. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the the the, the Mulligan card. The draw two. We'll play Eden Sphinx, draw two cards from my draw deck, and play one, discard one. Yeah. So I can either add two in Massachusetts, or I can add so add cubes in the south. So uh, this right. one does absolutely nothing, and this uh, adds I mean, two. Missouri is available. Uh, yeah. So I can add at most two. So two cubes into Missouri. Come on. Oh, what do you need to roll? Uh, uh, it just says. I would. I could put up to eight. Oh, oh, okay. You need to get a two or better. A two or better. You so got it. I got. All right. Well, all things considered, I'm pretty okay with that. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty lackluster turn for you. Wow, man, that. I, I, I guess I'm probably only gonna get to use that once. Yeah. I should probably do it now. Probably, and so you can. Uh, so you I, can... I might be able to punt this out. Maybe lock in a couple over here and here. This is going to be a waste. Well, my worst die. All right, we're doing it. All I'm right. Spending my badge. Uh, we're campaigning. Okay. 4d6. 4d6s. And I have no rerolls. Sixes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, uh, that will do nothing. Yep. This will almost for sure go over there. Yeah. Yeah. So this will go here and put two check marks down. Yep. That was here. Yep. And then... This is... I'm just going to get rid of it. The, this is the only thing that that yep. can do. That removes those. Could have been better. Could have been worse. And then two over here. So it, so just just so John... Just so I reiterate for John, um, the way... 
So he now kind of has a choice where if he's not sure if he can lock these in before the end of the game, he should consider not spreading out, spreading out because then you get plus ones, plus in, ones yeah. in more states. Yeah. I mean, I think that is what I'm going to do. Okay. Yeah, spread, spread out, spread out. All right. Also, it maybe um, uh, lowers your effect efficacy. It yeah. It seems like a lot of your things hit specific states. Yep. Okay. I just realized I forgot to discard a card. Yep. The midterm elections puts <laughs> on a roll of three, roll a D6, on a three through six, add three to Congress. So maybe I was a little overly worried in the mid game mm -hmm. about it. There's a lot of ways to really pull these back, but I might not have drawn it too. Yeah. So, all right. That was paying for the campaigning action that I already did. Yep. Okay. So I think my, I think the smart move for me is because the American Constitutional League uh, requires me to spend buttons, which I only have one of, and so I can't actually use it. I think I'm going to do this, and I'm going to use a campaign action now. Okay. So I just roll 2d4, because I don't have any of that fancy things. Yeah. And we'll see what we roll, and we'll base some decisions off of that. We got two ones. That's... Use your uh, button? I think I'm going to use my button. Yeah. Yeah. If it... <laughs> yeah, if, <laughs> like anything but that. Anything but that, and I might not have. I might have decided to keep it. So four, four two, four, four two. Got a lot better. Yeah. So I think this happens. I just yeah. I just lock down the. Oh, that took the four. I took the four, and then I think the two. Just yeah, spreading out probably. Spreading out. Yeah, because I couldn't spread out here. Yeah. yeah. So I think yeah. that makes sense. No, that makes a lot of sense. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it is my turn. I'm going to discard Woodrow Wilson for a badge. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So that I can fight with the war in Europe happening, so. Yep. I am going to use Governor Clement's veto. I replace one check mark with one X mark. Well, that's terrible. Uh, let's see if we can paint the Northeast red. Not that it really matters where, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 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 not feeling super confident. I have to admit. Um, it's back to me. I'm gonna play reconsideration, which I spent probably way too many badges on now. In retrospect, uh, replace an X with two cubes. So, it'll be <laughs> this one. Yep. Uh, right. two cubes. It'll be yellow, and then we're gonna campaign. Yep. Oops. And uh, I'm discarding the Eighteenth Amendment to do it. Okay. So it was late. You were curious. Yeah. And it puts uh pillars down. Uh, I thought about doing it because on a roll of three through six, I get two badges. Mm, I almost did it. Yeah. But if I whiffed, yeah. I would get nothing. And I just, yeah. Anyway, so I'm campaigning. I'm rolling four D6s. It's better this time. That's pretty good. Yeah. The one obviously goes here and does nothing. The six probably goes there. The five. Ooh. Um. Yeah, no, I think you want your three to go. There. No, you're right. The three is here for sure. For sure, yeah. for sure. So yeah, this will take get, get rid of these. And then you probably want the five the, for the check. Oh, mark. Wait, no, the six you probably want over there now, I think. Yeah. The five. Huh. Yeah, because you can seal Nevada and and get Utah leaning on yeah, you. Yeah, I think I gotta do that. Yeah. So that goes there, and then I put one down. Yep. Purple. And then this five. So yeah, we're we're Oh, I had to spend this. Yep. And uh, this is, I think, where I'm going to lose the mm -hmm, game because mm -hmm. I'm, I, I can't get over there. Yeah. So it's just going to be a bunch of die rolls. Yep. And you only win, need to win three of them. I do. Jeez. Um, all right. Well, I think I'm just going to put, I think I'm going to scatter five around. That makes sense. Uh, at, at this point. Yeah, so. Double up on three of them and then put. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. okay. You are up. I am up. So, all right. I think, so yeah, I th this is going into final, final voting. So yeah. I'm going to play my voter. John, registered voters. I'm suppressing voters. So, so you. I rolled, we both rolled D8s now. Great. Well, I'll win the tie. Yep. All right. Uh, I was really hoping you wouldn't find that card. Yeah. But you've gone through essentially your whole deck, so it's not that surprising. Yeah. You've gone through more of your deck than me. Uh, so now... Oh, that was my last action. I was. Uh, it's, it, I think, especially with you... Uh, okay. Yep. Now then I think, then I think I do cheers to no suffrage. If the 18th Amendment is not in effect, I roll D8, and I put, two, and I put them anywhere, no more than two per state. Oh, gosh. So... 
Ugh. So that really needed that to be a one. Yep. So I think I want just to... spread out over here, right? I Oops. think I want yeah four. Oh, I guess no. You just need three hits. I need three hits, and so I think bank having yeah. two. Actually, no. No, I think I like. I don't know. I'm not going to run the numbers or the probability, but I think <laughs> if it's incredibly close. Yeah, it's like I think oh, that war in Europe. I think saved you. I mean, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. <laughs> and, and, all right. So now I was just going to campaign like every single turn. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right. So this goes Those go away. away. These don't matter anymore. Those do not matter anymore. So, and we've oops, reached the, the end. Um, we have reached the end. So now we go into. A roll off, so uh, we each get d8s. Yep, so I roll the gray one and you roll the black one. Okay, um, so now I be let me double check who picks. and we have no badges. So, yes, if if we had badges, we'd be able to use them for re rolls, but neither of us do. So, this is just straight up John wins ties who has the higher number. Starting, yep, so starting with the suffragist player. So, John, pick a state and we're gonna roll to see, yeah, who wins it. <laughs> Uh, so the way final voting works, uh, starting with John, yeah, and then trading off, we'll each pick a state, okay, and we'll roll our die, uh, and then add any cubes that match our side to the die. Yeah. Um, if John has equal or greater than the number I have, he wins. And if I not, win the tie because of this. Otherwise, it wouldn't have. Yep. And uh, otherwise, right. I win it. Let's start with Minnesota. All right. One, two, three. Uh, that's eight to you, six to me. So that's a check. All right. All right. And it was six plus two, which is why I yep. have eight. All right. Uh, it's you, right? It's me. I'm going to pick Pennsylvania. Yep. So plus two to me. Uh, seven to six, you win it. Uh, eight uh, to seven. Yeah, eight to seven. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Eight to seven. All right, John, what's the next state? Uh, let's go to Michigan. All right. Plus two to black. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's. That's uh, very bad. I think that done. That's probably game. That's probably game. <laughs> and then I imagine we're going here. Yep, we're going to Maryland. Yep. All right. So plus two to gray. Yep. yep. That does That's it. That's it. Wow. I did terrible these end game rolls. Yeah. That was it. Wow. Yeah. Look at all these check marks. That didn't make it. I I felt like I had a good shot to win this game early. No, you did. I I feel like letting you this happen. I could have played that New York card that turn. Yeah. And I just forgot. Mm -hmm. It just didn't occur to me. I, I didn't play any other special card, and then this wouldn't have been locked in. Yep. And then the and then you overpaying in badges really stifled you. Yeah. Well, I mean, it didn't feel like overpaying at the time. That, but again, yeah, that war in Europe. If not for that, I would have moved this person here, mm -hmm. and then then it would have been on. That's e all I needed was one move because this person did nothing. Yeah. And then I would have just campaigned literally. Five times in a row, probably. probably. I would probably put the tiebreaker out and campaign five times in a row with that, which was my plan. Oh, good game. Yeah. Not happy about it. No. <laughs> but yeah, so what did you think of it, John? I mean, it's excellent. Yeah. I, I think, I mean, I, I've only played it this one time. I, I've played a couple card-driven war games before. Yeah. I, I don't know if this is considered a card-driven war game. It felt kind of like it. It's, it's definitely in the same family. Yeah, I mean, I've played uh, 1960, uh, uh, Making of the Present, I think it's called. I think that's right. played Twilight Struggle, and I, I bounced off that one. Um, and I've played probably some other ones, but I, I think this is my favorite by far. Uh, I, it felt highly thematic. Like, yeah. the, the, the decisions I was making, it was really close. I, I think I did probably overcommit all those turns in the mid round to make this happen, not re not realizing that there was all those other cards that would let me put like, there was a, you know, there was a double and yeah. I, I threw a bunch of way that put more in, um, but I might not have drawn them. I mm -hmm. mean, here's one. Oh my goodness. Put a, a token down and get four badges. If I'd received that. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a completely different game. Yeah. Uh, and then woman in world war playable. If war in Europe is an effect, put 10 cubes anywhere. Yeah. So, yeah, this this really could have gone very differently. It didn't. Um, it, it felt it felt close until right there at the end. I mean, I knew the odds were not in my favor. I needed things. I needed these all to go my way. Yeah. Um, and even then, I might not have had it because of these. And then these were just straight coin flips. Yeah. I I, I, I had a long road to go and uh, didn't yeah. get there. I, know, I think you I think you played pretty darn well, all things considered, especially since I've played twice before yeah I, not knowing the tempo of the cards i feel like on a second play as the suffragists 
I wouldn't have worried quite as much about this. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It's tough to say. Yeah. Definitely a great first game experience. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, just so everyone knows, the only card I told John about ahead of time was the Southern strategy. Yeah. You told me that if you play it, you might regret it. Yeah. So that's why I really hesitated playing it. I think it probably ended up being good for me. Like in in this specific play, especially because I was able to get this happening before you removed a bunch of stuff. But I felt like I was in a really good position on cubes. It was just, it was this turn. You put like four down. Yeah. I, it I was had, just way too much. Yeah. I had two campaign actions back to back where I had the bonus and yeah. it was just like. And when I played the New York. Yeah. Cause you played one campaign action as a bonus card. Yeah. That was it. And, and with that New York card, if I just scattered some around here, you maybe put down two instead of four. Yeah. And then maybe we're like this and yeah. I have a fighting chance. I mean, still probably going your way. I mean, it makes sense that this would be incredibly hard to do. Yeah. Thematically. I, I'm not a scholar by any means in the time, but it seems like amendments are very difficult to do. Yeah. Um, in general. And, and I felt that very much. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, I know this isn't quite your type of game. No, it's not, but I, I would totally play this again. Yeah, no, it, it, like when I saw it, it was like, oh, this seems like not overly complicated. And I think it really kind of gives you some nice, interesting decisions to chew, to chew on. Yeah. And like w- when bad things happened, they just thematically felt like they made sense. Like you, yeah. you kind of lean into it. Like I wanted to win for sure, but I also found it a, a very interesting experience overall. And uh, yeah, I also really enjoyed how like the state cards work. I think those yeah. provide a really kind of interesting ebb and flow. Yeah. I, I really liked you putting those tokens down to remind for the video, but uh-huh. honestly in future plays, I think I'd probably want to do that as well. Yeah. I agree. Um, it's always those same nine state cards. No. So there's 12 total. And so oh. you play with nine of them. Oh, that's each, cool. I mean, obviously there's a, they're going to be similar. Like we, yeah. I feel like we saw all the flavors of them, put cubes down, get badges and then draw cards. Yeah. But it's still really good to have. Yeah. Like uh, Georgia's one that, that pop that wasn't played That's right. With. We had none in the Midwest. And so. there's a couple, I think, in the Midwest. So, yeah. like, yeah, so there's a, so it could definitely, like, steer where you're playing cards. Cause, like, like, I know you ended up going into the West heavy early on because yeah. of Utah and California. Yeah. And, yeah, I kind of ended up kind of over here because I was just more or less fighting you in the Northeast and the Appalachia yeah. Atlantic. Well, good game. I, I wish it was slightly harder fought right to the end, although we really did get right to the end there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we could have seen how more of these went, but Michigan, ooh, that, that was definitely the, the death knell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you had 12 left, so yeah. It was... Yeah, that was a long road. Yeah. And again, this simple positioning, if this was here, yeah, such a different game. If one extra badge, and maybe it was a mistake that one round when I rolled the 2D8s, uh, mm-hmm. maybe that should have been getting a badge. Yeah. But I'm not sure if I would even have been able to pay it. Like spending two of your final six turns taking a single badge, terrible. Yeah. And I, uh, I felt that. Yeah. I definitely did. Yeah. Well, you know, um, yeah, I'm glad. I, yeah. As I said before, I'm glad you had a good time with this one. Uh, the dogs have come and I think have informed me that they're right. My, my dog's ready to go home. <laughs> okay. So let's wrap this one up. Thanks for coming over, Matt. Yeah. Thanks for having me over again. This was a fun time. As always, I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel, including these producer-level Patreon supporters. If you too would like to directly support the channel in the creation of future videos like this one, then please go to johngetsgames.com support. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for it down below, as well as the subscribe button for the channel. Thanks for watching.